Hello and welcome to a video spotlight for the bobtailed nail. These are actually modeled after a bobtailed squid. I've started out with one coat of cured CND shellac iced coral. I'm going to be using Dollar Nail Art in a light violet. Additionally, I have art glitter in fresh scent, mint chiffon, CND Additives Spring Collection Sea Glass, CND Additives in Cerulean Blue, as well as Green Gold Sparkle. I have CND Shellac in Clearly Pink, Vinylux in Dark Dahlia, and we're using Bundle Monster Plate 224, as well as some additional foil in a light green, as well as a blue iridescent. Let's get started. First we're going to start out using the purple foil. We're going to just lightly press a few random spots in to the nail. Just to give it a little dimension. So you can see we just have a few random spots on the nail that stuck to that inhibition layer. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dip into a little bit of the microfine fresh scent. It doesn't really smell, but I guess fresh scent is as good of description as any. We have a little mint chiffon. And this would be the cuticle area that I'm working in. And of course, the glitter is not going to stick where I've put foil down. Then I'm going to get a little bit of my sea glass and drop that in on the side. And I'm just burnishing this into the tacky layer. Now we're going to go for our additives. I'm going to actually swish, switch brushes go into my cerulean blue. Starting at the tip, I'm going to go concentrated cerulean blue. Really burnish that color in deep. Then I'm going to add a little bit of green gold sparkle to my brush as well as the cerulean blue. And I'm going to continue to meet up with my glitter. Kind of mixing them in the brush. Taking a little cerulean and dusting it down into parts of the color. You can see we're starting to get some of our underneath layering going. I'm actually going to take, I've dabbed a little bit of alcohol on here. I'm going to wipe my brush on it that I was using my additives. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more of my cerulean blue. Get a little deeper color in there. With a little bit of alcohol. Kind of acts like the eyeshadow effect. The brush is just slightly moist. And give it a little bit deeper color. Okay. I'm going to put a light coat of clearly pink on that and cure it for two minutes. All cured, we have one coat of CND shellac clearly pink over top of our additives and glitter. Next stop is for our stamp. So I have the Bundle Monster Plate 224, and we're going to use the Dark Dahlia on that. So I have it all shaken very well. 
I'm going to lay my dark dahlia on my plate. Swipe my color. Pick up my print. And as you can see, I have my print. Now you can see a little bit on the edge isn't perfect. That's quite all right. I can actually take my stamp and remove what I don't want. There we go. You're going to take that, check where you want your image, roll it onto the nail, and because this is a larger tip, I need a little extra image. So we're going to repeat what we just did. Check your image before you stamp it again. And we're ready to roll. You can see I have a little corner here that's missing, and I have a little bit left on my stamp, so I'm actually going to match those up. In this particular case, since it's not an exact science or design, a little bit of randomness is okay, because a bobtailed squid is a little bit random. So now we have the Vinyl Lux over top of our additives. Now, because the Vinyl Lux is covering up some of the inhibition layer, we can now take our foil and press in and just get a few random spots. Add a little bit of the green in and just a couple little spots. And a little bit more of the lavender. gently pressed into the nail. You can also take and give it just a little bit more of your cerulean blue and it'll only pick up in that tacky layer. Additionally, you can pick up a little bit of your green gold sparkle and just add a little edge detail. We're going to give that a proper CND shellac top coat and cure it. So I am going to demonstrate my top coat application, not because I don't think many of you know how to top coat, but simply because I do want to reinforce the fact that when you're using additives and using other things added into your nail design, you really want to make sure that you seal all of that in. Of course my CND shellac top coat is very well shaken and I am going to make sure as I'm working around my design that I get all the way around the edge of my design. Now you don't need to put it on thick because remember we want to apply shellac nice and thin but you do want to make sure that you seal all the way around those edges and then of course seal in that tip with your color and your top coat. Alright, so we're going to cure that for two minutes but there you have the Bobtailed Squid Nail Girl Invented Nail. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.